Hey everybody, how's it going there? This is Derek from Addictive Tips, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to open up remote document files in LibreOffice. So I'm running LibreOffice 6.0 on Debian Stable, and uh, this feature is for older versions of uh, LibreOffice as well, but I would suggest upgrading to the latest version first. So to start off, you're gonna to wanna to just search for LibreOffice. There are lots, there are lots of different ones for each you know, for each, each for different uh, bits of the suite. Just click on the main LibreOffice thing. It has this nice little menu and it lets you create individual things right away. There are templates and everything. And you just click on the remote files button here. And this is just the shortest way to get to the service. From here, you can click add service. Uh, I have SSH for my server and I also have this other stuff. I can click add service and I can add from Google Drive, OneDrive, Alfresco, IBM, Lotus, Nuxo, Open Data, Open Text, SharePoint, CIMS, CMIS, FTP, SSH. And we are gonna do, do a window share. So my share is Debian server and then just uh, flex legacy. And then I just need to enter, I don't actually have to enter anything, but I'd like to enter my Samba user. Remember password, click okay, enter the password once again. And as we see here, I should be able to see my document folder. So I'm just gonna look through and there is a remote document right here. Now I can open it and uh, this, it's if you look up here, it says remote. So I can edit this at any time and I can put in, uh, hello, my name is Derek, blah, blah, blah. And if I go here, I can click save and uh, save remote. And this will save to wherever I want. And I'm saving it in my TV shows directory, don't ask why, but uh, Crap. I can save it as a file like this. And now if I go back to Samba here, TV, refresh, and I click copy, I click paste, we can verify that it is indeed edited remotely. And uh, there we go. That is how you open up remote files. Just to go over again, you just click open remote if you're in one of the tools, or you can start off at LibreOffice, click, uh, I have to close this first, click remote files, browse for your files, click open, and that's your remote file. And that's how you edit remotely. It supports more than Samba, but I would say that most people are probably gonna be doing this over Samba because it supports Windows, Mac, and Linux, and of course, uh, as always, my name is Derek, and I will see you guys in the next video.